Now, of course, you were already free of the fear of death. Oh, definitely, yeah. Did you become free of the fear of death when you had the car accident in your I think life? a little after the car accident. That was 30 years before the heart attack or something? Yes, it was in the beginning of the 80s, like maybe 80 or 81. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because after that I have all those doubts and I went into books, of course. I went to my mother, my grandfather, who used to be my teacher, and I asked them. But then push me in a way that I go went in that direction. Then it was so clear for me that everything comes from desire. You know, many religions, philosophies, they say that desire is not good. Well, it's not true. It's just completely normal in humans. We all have desires. The problem is what we're going to do with desire. We can go in two directions with desire. One going to obsession and the other going to passion. If we go into obsession, that will take us into self-destruction. And this is so easy to see it in, in this beautiful humanity, the majority go into obsession. With the obsession, we create all those dramas and we create all that hell, but it guides us into self-destruction. But if we go into passion, it takes us, take us into inspiration. And it's in that moment of inspiration when you find out what you really are, knowing that there's no words in order to explain what you really are, but you just know. Then it, I think it's a, a, a wonderful experience because for sure we all have in the mind, oh, what about that? I'm afraid to die. I'm afraid to the unknown. Well, there's really nothing to be afraid. You know, the part of you that is afraid to the unknown or to death is your knowledge. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know oh, what I'm going to do. I don't know. Well, you are the unknown. Then knowledge is afraid of you. Then whatever answer you give to knowledge, knowledge will feel good, will be satisfied with that answer. But really, you are the unknown. Because when you was, like, let's see, two, three, four years old, you have nothing in your head. It was completely empty. You just exist without knowing what you are. And you don't really need to know what you are. Of course, we use knowledge in order to talk about ourselves. Like with knowledge, I can say, well, I'm a human, I am male, I'm a medical doctor, I'm an author. If I go into the religious point of view, I will say, well, I'm a soul, I'm a spirit. And if I go into scientific point of view, I will say, well, I'm energy, I'm light. But the real truth is that I have no idea what I am. <laughs> I don't know. And it's okay, I don't need to know. I am, I'm here, and this is real, this is truth. That's beautiful, mm -hmm. thank you.